Okay. So, oh, it's so, I feel like I got so sunburned today. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on our right hand. We're gonna we're just gonna learn a song that I, I wrote a while back. And it's more of a strumming song, and it goes something like this. And then if we have time, we'll go, we'll go further. Uh, let's see. In the... Has this song got a name, Bruce? Um, it's called Live. And I wrote this song a long time ago. And I'll be completely honest. The only reason why... Okay, so I like this song because I liked how it was a G chord with the D melody. And then I went to a C chord with a B melody. And then I changed it. I went from a G chord with a B melody to the C chord with the high D melody. So I just kind of like that. G chord with D, C with B, G with B, and then the C with D. So I just thought, hey, that's kind of neat. I like that. The, the, the thing is, I didn't really have a story behind this song. I just kind of liked that little thing, and I just kind of played it, and wherever it took me, that, that's where it took me. So I didn't really have like a, a name that, that kind of fit a story, because I didn't have a story. But it just so happened that around that time, Jake came out with his album, Jake Shimabukuro Live. So I just thought it would be funny if I named this song Live, because it's spelled the same, right? And I don't know. I mean, I'm, I do silly things sometimes just for fun, you know, and even though no one will ever understand that, and as silly as it sounds, I just kind of thought, hey, wouldn't it be funny? Jake has his Jake Shimukuro Live. I think I'll write a song and call it Live. And that's, that's what I did. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, so... So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on our right hand, okay? And we're talking about strum patterns. And like every strum pattern, the first thing you have to do is feel the beat, okay? And if you guys remember the episode that I did called the Strum Pattern Challenge or something like that, right? So our hands are just going to move like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? And while you're doing this, I want you to say, down, up, down, down, up, down, and down, up, down. Okay, my hands are just moving. Down, up, down, and down, up, down, and down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, now I'm going to continue. Down, up, down, up, down. Okay, again. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so you should be able to say it as you're doing it, okay? And then later when you get a good feel for this, that you can feel that down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. When you get a good feel for that, then you're going to start actually trying to hit the strings harder. Down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, so the, the full strum pattern, we're going to add one more down at the end. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Oh, I forgot to turn on the original sound. This should be better. Okay, so one more time. Down, up, down, up, 
down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Okay? So take a couple of minutes, just try that. Up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Yeah, and try to get really comfortable with it so you want to feel it. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Okay? So take your time with it. If you need to go slowly, you can go slowly. Um, let me know if you're really having a hard time doing this because there's another exercise I can share with you that, you know, will make it a little bit easier to, you know, I mean, like if you can't do this now, um, I can think of an easier exercise you can try and then maybe after you get comfortable with that exercise, then you come back to you to this exercise. So I, I struggle with it till I can hear it. So if you could, if you could okay. start the record, I, I might find it a bit easier. Okay, wait, wait. so, okay. Wait, can I say that again, Mark? So you want to know the, you think with the chords it'll be easier? If I can hear it with the chord. So oh, okay, okay. Hear, so okay. I can hear the beat, if you get right So here. what I'm doing here is I'm adding a G chord with the yeah. high D note. So this is chord number one. Okay. Chord number two is your C major seven chord. I'm using this voicing, G over here and B over here. This is chord number two. So what I'm doing is down, up, down, up. Down, down. Again, one, two, ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, up, down, down. And then after this, I'm going to a regular G. Down, up. And then I'm going to the same C major seven chord, but I'm adding the D. So there's four chords, okay? Chord number one, G chord with D. And then your C major seven is chord number two. Now your regular G is chord number three. And now your C major seven with the high D, that's your chord number four. So it's basically just down, up, down, up, down, down, down. Second time is a little bit different, but I'll go into that part later. So for now, just practice that one line. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. And just repeat that. So give that a shot, maybe uh, a couple of minutes. And I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to practice, and then I'll just go over that other exercise I was talking about anyways. No questions? And I think a lot of you, it's normal, I'm just going to tell you, it's, it's normal where if you kind of lose the strum pattern, so if you watch my right hand, this hand, my hand just kind of moved like this. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, okay? Now some of you, you're gonna find that when you try to accent on the up, your hands are gonna look something like this. Down, up, down, up. Like it's gonna break that that stride of just down, up, down. So you want to try to keep this motion, okay? So you just got to get comfortable feeling that down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. 
and that's the goal. So your hand just kind of moves nicely like this. And try and if you're doing this, okay. If you're doing something like that, um, that means you need more practice, right? Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. And like I said, the reason why it's hard is because I think everybody is comfortable with the upbeat. Like if, if the song just went down, 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 everybody would, would have an easy time. But it's those upbeats that some of you may not be able to feel as strongly as a downbeat. Okay? So, so that, that's kind of what you want to work on. So I'll go over that, that little exercise I was talking about. And if you guys want to try it, you can put your, your, um, your ukuleles down because we're just going to be practicing on our lap. Okay, so <laughs> this is a, <laughs> that's kind of a weird picture. I feel like I'm just showing you guys my... my <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll get something I can, I can tap on. Okay, I use this. All right. This is better. Okay, so my right hand represents the down strum, and my left hand represents the up strum. Okay, so basically, you're going to think of it as just one and two and three and four. Okay, and now we're going to try it down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And then what you want to do is try to accident more. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not a drummer, but I, you know, like if you gave me drumsticks, I would have no idea what to do with them. Okay, but, but you know, this is a good way to just practice the strokes. Okay, and you, and like I said, you want to feel that because when you feel this, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up down, down, down. Then, when you grab your ukulele, you're going to be able to feel that, but it's down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Okay, so that's a really good way to practice of feeling the beat, okay? Because a lot of times when, when I put the ukulele in your hand or you have it and you're not comfortable, it's kind of hard to learn a new strum pattern when you're not comfortable just strumming anyways. So by hitting something, you know, you're comfortable doing this. So, <laughs> yeah, kind of the, the jungle, jungle sound. So that's all it is. You know, you take your thing, you just kind of hit. I usually just hit, hit my lap. Down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. So when I'm strumming, I can still feel that. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. Okay? And even if I it's a different strum pattern. Down, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down. So on my ukulele I can feel that. Down, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down. Okay? So you want to be able to feel the strum pattern first. Okay? Feel it. Feel those, those accents and then try to apply it to your, to your strum. Okay? So, oh, okay. I can demonstrate very slowly. Okay, so I'm going to hold the G chord with the D, and I'm going to go down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Down, 
and I'll go over this one later. So the second time around, it changes. And all I'm doing is I'm holding this. It looks like I'm holding a C major 7, but I'm actually muting the strings. Because I want the E, I want the E melody to stand out. So slowly, it sounds like this. Time. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. But before we actually go into the chords and everything, I want you to spend more time on, the, on your right hand. Okay? Because if you're not comfortable with this accent and this groove, then the whole song won't sound good. Okay? So the groove is everything in this song. The melody is not too strong. It's just the groove. song is just that one group down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down 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 Okay, no, that's normal. So if you're not comfortable with the groove, that's absolutely normal. Because I don't think we've actually done this groove. I mean, there's no reason that you should be really comfortable with it right away. But what I want to do is focus more on the groove than the song, right? If, if you've been taking lessons with me for a while, I mean, joining the, joining the workshops, you know that I always care less about the actual song and more about you know, the exercise behind the song or, you know, the, so this is a, a strum pattern, a new strum pattern we're learning, and it's like this. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Okay, so take as much time as you need, but focus on your right hand. Because if you can't do it now like this, oh yeah, so I'll get a metronome in for you. Actually, I think normally we would do it as a sixteen. Oh, I think we could do it as an eighth note strum. Does that help, Stacy? 
So it is kind of a tricky beat. Actually, though, this is more of a... Um, okay, don't worry so much about the accents yet. Okay, make sure that you can feel it first. Because as you get more comfortable with the feeling, down, up, down, up, down, it'll get a little easier. Because the accent, it's not like a really big, big accent, right? Just a little down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. Okay, so I'm not actually trying to go like down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. You know, so that's gonna break the break the pattern, okay? So the accents will come naturally, okay, but the only reason why it's gonna come naturally is because you can feel those beats and if you just think about that beat you're gonna just tend to go down up down up down 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 up down up down 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 okay once you feel it so then it'll, it'll come out naturally but right now I think for a lot of you it might not feel natural right now okay Okay, so when you get comfortable with that, then we throw in our left hand, and I think the chord should be pretty, pretty simple for you guys. What's going to make it hard though is that you're trying to focus, you're, you're going to try to focus on two things now. So just keep in mind, right, if you have a hard time with the strum pattern now, and we're just muting the strings, okay, if you have a hard time just doing this, can you imagine how much harder it's going to be? when you also have to focus on the chords, okay? And I know that these chords are not gonna be difficult for you guys. Um, it shouldn't be, because this is just a basic G chord with a D, C major seven, regular G, C major seven with a D, right? So the chords aren't hard, but the reason why it's gonna seem hard is because this is gonna distract you from focusing on your right hand, okay? So give it a good, give it a good two, three more minutes to keep trying to focus on that accent. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Yeah, and it's kind of like, um, have you ever in your life, I'm, I'm assuming you guys will, everybody can understand this. Like, let's say you're focusing on something, like whether you're watching the news and then a story comes on and you're really interested. So you, you're trying to focus on something and someone tries to talk to you and say like, hey, so da 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 And you're like, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Let me focus on this, right? And talking is so easy, but it's just, you know, it'll take the focus away from what you want to focus on, right? So... Right now, you're trying to focus on your right hand. Even though the left hand part should be pretty simple, it's still going to take away focus from, from just your right hand. So it's going to get a lot harder. Okay? Any questions so far? Wow. Sounds good. Actually, if, if I might, can I ask you... Uh... Just like when you're strumming down and up, like what parts of your fingers are you using? Okay, so the basic, so okay, so it depends. Um, so I covered, I covered the very basic um, way of strumming in my episodes before where I just use my pointer finger to go down and I use the flesh of my finger to go up, okay? The problem with this, the problem with this is that when you go down, you're using your nail, and when you come up, you're using skin. So usually, usually the up strum is, sorry, let me meet you real quick, Gigi. So, so usually the, the up strum is a lot softer because you're using skin. So it's kind of hard to get an even down and up strum, especially if you hit hard on the down. So that's it. It's basically just nail versus skin, okay? But that's the basic way of strumming. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up,
But later on, um, later in, in I, I don't know how many more episodes later, I brought back strumming. And then what I did was I taught another technique. This is a little bit more advanced, but this is where I'm strumming down with my thumb and I'm strumming up with my pointer finger. Okay, so down, up. Okay, what this allows me to do is I'm using skin to go down and I'm using skin to come up. So what that allows me to do is get a more even sound. Okay, and it is a lot softer because I'm using my skin, but that's what I want. I want my skin, my regular strum, down, up, 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 okay? I want this to be soft because now if my regular strum is soft, my accents, you can really notice it. So regular. One, two, ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. You notice how much more the accent stands out? And that's really because my normal strum is so soft. Okay, if I'm strumming like this, I'm strumming so loud that it's hard to hear the accent. Here, listen to this sound. One, two, ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. So I'm really trying to get the accents in there, but because my regular strum, the places that I don't want to accent because they're so, so loud, you know, you can't really hear my accent so well. Okay, so you can still do it like this though, if you just kind of control it. But you can still kind of hear it, I'm trying to control it more. But normally when I do it, I will use the flesh of my thumb to go down and my, my, the flesh of my index finger to go up. And it would actually, so with no accents, it would sound like this. Okay, with the accents, Okay, so in a nutshell, that's pretty much what I'm, what I'm thinking about. So if you're not ready to use the fleshy part of your fingers, you can stick with the basic strokes. I feel like it's a little harder to control it, um, but that's probably because I've never really practiced it trying to do something like that with, with this technique. This feels a little strange. I'm more used to like my thumb going down softly. So if you just take your thumb and brush it down, you should get a soft, a soft down strum. If you use your pointer finger and just kind of go up. It's a soft up strum. So you mix it up, down, up. You want to try to keep it as even as possible. Do an accent. And that's pretty much what, what the strum pattern is. Like when you can make a song groove, 
That means your little strums are very consistent. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And your accents, your accents are very strong and very consistent as well. Change the drum pattern. Okay, so I took the same side, just kind of changed the, the strum pattern a little bit. Okay, um, does that help? Hopefully, that kind of makes sense, but. It does, you know, it does take a lot of, well, not a lot of practice, but, you know, it's, it's not something that I can just tell you right now and you'll be like, oh, I see it and you'll get it, you know, but hopefully you kind of understand what I mean. So at this level, like this is the intermediate class and especially a song like this, I would suggest trying to get comfortable going down with your thumb and up with your pointer finger. Bruce, do the chords change after the third up every time, or are they changing in different places? Um, no, they're all changing in the same place. So the down, up, down, right? That's the so down, up, change. And down, up, change, right? So you got this one. Down, up, change, up, down, down, change, up, change. part this drum pattern changes a little bit but we'll get there shortly okay how's everybody doing so far is everybody okay getting getting pretty close you guys following along all right is anybody getting lost could you just go over the chords again please bruce could you just go over the chords again please okay. so so G, G, with the, yeah. G with the high D note, and your C major seven, this voice in here. Then yeah. G, and then back to your C, but with the D, high D here. Okay, so the first three are always the same. Okay, and then the second time, okay, we go back to the beginning, the G with D, C major seven, regular G and this time this is the second time around so the last chord I'm just kind of muting the A string here so I'm not squeezing it I want this sound you can still think of this as a C and it doesn't matter where you hold it because I'm not because I'm not touching the, I'm not squeezing the string right and then the third time is back to the beginning same thing So I'll do it slowly. Um. Does that help? <laughs> you want to go slower? <laughs> no, that's good. I'll get one. Okay. Okay, take, uh, take one or two more minutes, and then I'll go over the next part. Thanks for explaining that strumming. That, that's essentially what I was doing anyway, but I just... Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, that's, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, every, everybody kind of has their own 
little techniques or you know their their own little style. But the main thing is that you understand the purpose of these things, you know. So like, um, I teach everybody in the be in the beginning to strum like this: down with your pointer, up with your pointer, you know. And to me, this is the the basic way of of strumming because usually your first few strum patterns are going to be like the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, you know, this kind of thing, or maybe like a down, up, down. So this is usually the, the more basic way, but later on as you get better, you start to understand that, you know, when you want to place accents, sometimes the accents don't come out. And then you start to realize like, oh, what if the chords that, I mean, the strokes that I don't want to accent, what if I played them softer? And that's what it comes down to figuring out like, oh yeah, if I use my skin, it's softer, you know? So it's, it's kind of, everything kind of makes sense, you know? So that's, that's good. That's, that's, that's what you want. So, even if you're doing something different, you know, you kind of, you just kind of want to understand um, the difference between the way you're doing it or the way I'm doing it. And maybe if you're doing it different from me, I might watch you and say, yeah, I kind of like that because, you know, if I do it this way, that could allow me to, you know, so, something like that. So it's good. Okay, so I'm going to go over the next part. So now we're kind of going from a D, but I'm not holding the, the top string, yeah? So you can think of it like a B flat chord. B, C, C sharp, D. Okay? But I'm going to take off my ring finger. Good. Okay. So now here's what I'm doing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit this chord and I'm going to hammer on the E string space number seven. So I'm going down, up. So the same pattern, wait, let me double check it. Down, up, down, up, down, down. Yeah, same thing. Down, up. So let's go over the same. So just practice this. Same thing, holding that D. Okay, so this part, the down, up, right? Down, up. I'm doing this. Down, up, and I'm taking it off, and I'm putting it up. So, down, up. Down, up, and I kind of mute the drink. So one more time. So all I'm doing is I'm doing a, I'm holding a D chord and I'm hammering on down, up, down and hammer. So down, up. I'm going to a C chord. Same thing. Just slide down to space number three. Same thing. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Yeah. Okay, so try that. Take the time. So, so I'll just I'll just continue. It's basically just down, up, down, up, D chord, but I'm holding a D sus. So the F sharp here needs to slide out to the G, and that's a down. Then bring it back to a regular D. Down. That's it. Down, up. It's a little difficult, and the, the frustrating thing with um, strum patterns 
is there's nothing there's nothing you can like okay if you if you got it you got it if you if you cannot do the strum pattern it takes time okay but here's the cool thing about strum patterns is as long as it takes you to get comfortable with it you'll always have this strum pattern down okay so once you get the strum pattern down you'll you'll always have it it'll never go away so that's a really good thing Okay, so if I put it together slowly. Top of the G right there. Okay, take a couple of minutes, try to let that sink in. Mm. That's right. Okay, give me one minute. What time is it now? I'm gonna make one quick phone call, just give a minute. Go ahead, practice.
you. Sorry about that. Okay. So what? <laughs> I should give you guys more more um, personal time. I should do that normally. <laughs> I know this every time. Every time I walk away just to go to the bathroom or something, then everybody's like, "Hey, you guys know what's going on? What what, what are we supposed to do?" <laughs> okay. Um, let me help you guys. And I completely get it because I was one of those students in school too. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I just kind of nod my head every time the teacher looks at me. And everybody's doing their assignment and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And every time the teacher looks at me and we make eye contact and I like make like I'm writing something down. And then I just hope as soon as the teacher leaves, like, hey, what are we doing? What, are, what you got over there? What, what did you write? A? B, A, C, D. Oh, teacher's coming. <laughs> so I completely get it. Um, so any questions you have, I mean, feel free to, to let me know. I actually don't want you guys to be confused. So, um, but like, you know, you got to keep in mind that um, I cannot hear you guys play at all. So in my head, as I explain it, and if there's no questions, I'm just assuming that I'm such a great teacher. <laughs> I'm just assuming that you guys know what's going on and you're, you know, maybe you're comfortable or not too comfortable, but, but you understand what's going on. Okay, so um, let's see. Okay, last three chords. But, you know, honestly, I don't mind explaining the same thing over and over and over and over. Because if I explain something and you guys don't get it, it probably means I'm not explaining it right. Okay, so you know, feel free. I mean, I'm a I'm a teacher, and I'm always looking to find. I mean, part of my job is to figure out new ways to relate to new students. You know, and, and try to teach something. So okay, so the last three chords. Okay, um, I I think you're talking about this one. Okay, so this is your D chord right here. This is actually a D sus. Okay. That's not important. I'm holding down the two strings on space number five, the A string and E string, and space number six, my middle finger is here, okay? And so just try this, okay? This is what it should sound like, okay? And remember, this is a D chord, okay? Another D chord. And if you look at my ring finger, I'm gonna hammer on space number seven. So basically that means I'm just gonna hit the string like this. So I want you guys to do, to do this, hammer on, and then take it off, and hit the strings again. Okay, so now with the strum pattern involved, remember that down, up, down, up, down, down, I'm actually playing the down, up. And then I kind of mute the strings after that. You don't have to though, but I, I normally go down, up, and I mute it. But you can keep it open. Okay, so just practice this. Take a couple of minutes and just practice this. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, take a couple of minutes there. And then when you get this part, you just slide down to space number three and do the exact same thing. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Okay, no problem. So, with the hammer on, okay. So the hammer on is basically like this. Okay, 
you're basically, the string is already vibrating. And by adding your finger, you're changing the sound. Okay. Now, the reason why you're probably not getting any sound or it's really quiet is because you're just kind of touching the string. Okay. So it is a little... I mean, you got to have a little bit strength. I mean, you got to practice it a little bit. But the trick is I'm also using my fingertip because my fingertip is actually harder than if I use the, the fat part of my finger, right? This is the, let me see. So this would be like the soft part of my finger. Up here is like the harder part of my finger, okay? So I want to use the harder part of my finger, not the soft part. So when I'm doing this, I'm using my ring finger. Maybe, oh. Okay, but now watch this. If I just touch it softly, you can't really hear it. So there's a chance, there's a chance that this is what you're doing. Okay, but later you'll build a little bit more muscle in hitting the string. Okay, so it does take a little bit of strength. You know, you got to kind of practice it. Okay, so one more time from the D down up again. Then slide to space number three, do the same thing. And then the D sus, which looks like this. Hopefully you guys know this is your D chord where you hold all three strings, space number two. Okay, your bottom is open. So I'm holding it like this. This is your D chord. If you slide this finger out to space number three, this is your D sus chord. So I'm playing D sus, D, D sus, D, down, down. Okay, so when I put it together slowly, down, up, down, up, D sus, D. And then you can just end on a G chord here. better okay so keep in mind as you're doing it like like Wendell for you too right like you're trying to do the hammer on it's not coming out so you're pretty much doing exactly what I'm doing but it's just not sounding the same okay so just you know just keep that in mind because it takes a little bit of practice and um, you know, just because it doesn't sound the same doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. Okay, so you want to make sure you understand the D, D part. Okay, and if it doesn't sound the same, you have to try to figure out, you know, what is it? What is it that makes it different? That, that makes it sound different? Like when, like I told you guys, right? When Jake is five years older than me. He would play a song and I would want to learn it and then he would teach it to me and I could play it. And every time Jake played it, everybody would say, wow, that's amazing. And every time I played it, everybody would go, hey, oh, you're pretty good. <laughs> so, so, you know, so I had to kind of figure out like, hey, what's going on? What is it? Why is it that when I play it, it doesn't sound like, like his? And then you have to try to learn that and, and figure it out. Okay, so that's that's important, but don't let that don't let that discourage you because it does take it does take some practice. So it's on that D sus D before the G at the end there. Okay, the D sus. If I if I if I just do the D sus and then take the take the ring finger off, is that stays to a D then? Yeah, no. No, 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 because you you need the F sharp. So right now I'm holding these three strings, right? Yeah. This yeah. this is your D. Yeah. 
Are, oh, are you holding three strings down with one finger? With two fingers. Okay, so this is how you hold your D? Yeah, I hold my D with two fingers and then I, then I put that sus on. Okay, yeah, so, oh, okay, you could do this. You could hold the D, use your baby finger for the sus and then take it off, D. Yeah, so as long as I hold that D after the D sus, yeah? Yeah. That's the sound right, yeah? That sounds good. Yeah? Yeah, that's the one. Hey, yeah. little, Thank you. The hammers on the second and fourth string are coming right after the upstroke, correct? Right. No, no, it's the, the hammer on is on the downstroke, so it's like down and hammer. So it's down and hammer. The first down, down, up. Down and hammer, yeah? Down and up. Okay. Down, you got it? Up. So the strum pattern is still the same way. The down, up, down, up, down, down. So the first down and up is right here. Down, up. The second down up is over here. Down, up. And then the D sus, down, down. And then the G chord. So down and up. So just practice that. And try saying this. Like sometimes just, um, just saying things like down and up. Down and up. Down and up. You know, just saying these things will help you feel that. Feel that. Down and up, down and up, and down and up, and down and up. So down and up, like down and up, down and up, down, down. You know, so you see how like, because I'm saying it, that's what helps me feel it. So before we even got to this part, I was trying to get you guys to just strum and say it, right? So in the end, the feeling and, and everything really plays a big part in the, in the groove and how it sounds in the end. So, so you just want to tell yourself, right? Okay, so down and hammer. Down, hammer. So this is your down. Down and up. Down and up. Down, down. Okay, so you take it slow. You kind of tell yourself, tell yourself these things. Down and up. Down and up, down, down, and we'll end on G. Does that help? How's everybody doing? I'm curious, should I leave for a minute? Then I can find out the truth about you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'll review this one more time. Um, I actually, um, I talked about this in yesterday's class, the beginner class, and I thought it was kind of interesting. I wanted to, to share this with you guys because this might actually kind of change the way you practice, okay? And, and what I did was I was talking to, the, to yesterday's class about, um, you guys are all familiar with like American Idol or, you know, Britain's Got Talent or Asia's Got Talent, right? Where... Basically, well, we'll just take the singers, okay? So you basically sing a song in front of the audience and you have these judges. And if they like the way you sing and they want to hear more, then they say, all right, you're going to the next round. And you sing again. If they like what they hear and they want to hear more, that's the bottom line, right? If they want to hear more, they're going to say, okay, you're in the next round, okay? If you sing a song and they feel like, uh, I think I heard enough. I'm not looking forward to hearing this person sing another song. Then you probably won't, won't make it. Okay. So what I was trying to do is what I, what I told all my students yesterday was 
imagine if there was like American Idol, but it was all ukulele. Okay? And here's the thing. It's not about playing a whole song first, and then the, the, the judges will decide if you're going to pass or not. But let's say there's 50 contestants. Okay, so there's 50 people, and you're in round one. So all you have to do is play this simple melody that goes like this. E, D, E. Okay, so everybody try that. E, D, E. Okay? So here's what's going to happen now. Everybody, all 50 contestants, okay? So us and some other people, we have to play these three notes. And the judges will keep 25 people and let 25 people go. So... When you go up on stage, how are you going to play these three notes? All you want to do is make it to the next round, right? So if you do this, I don't think you're going to make it, right? If you're buzzing a lot, I don't, I don't think you're going to make it, okay? So you want to try to figure out, like, like just really imagine, like, okay, you have, this is a performance almost in front of all these people, and, and these are the three notes you have to play. Right? You're going to be a little more careful. Maybe throw in a vibrato. Okay, and imagine now, you cannot get creative and play it any, any, play it any different way. It just has to be E, D, E. So I believe that if I, were, if, I were, if I had to do this, and they wanted to play the three notes, and I just played, okay, here we go. I think with the tone that I'm getting, I even threw in a little vibrato, and I'm connecting the notes well, I believe the judges will say, that was a nice three notes. I want to hear, hear more. In the next round, we're going to play 10 notes. You know, something like that. Okay? So the way you approach your playing now, or the way you practice, if you kind of keep this mindset, you're going to notice a lot of a lot of things. So, if you're playing it like this, you, right? I mean, I'm not saying you're not going to make it because they're going to take half the guys. It really depends on how how bad everybody else is, but you can kind of hear that if I didn't make it. So, if I did this and the judges said, "No, you don't you don't pass." we can kind of understand why, right? Like, ah, oh, it's kind of iffy, but it wasn't that nice. I mean, you know, the notes weren't connected. Um, you just kind of stopped them. You know, there was no touch. There was no feel to it. So you can kind of understand why it wouldn't pass. Okay, so the, the reason why... Okay, Avi, I have to... Um... Okay, I'll get back to you. I don't quite understand, so we'll, we can talk about it. Just give me a, a couple of minutes. So the reason why I brought this up to them is because when you're practicing, that's the main goal. You know, everybody, all of you guys should feel like, you know, you want to get better where when you play something, like just a short song, people want to hear more. That's the, that's the goal, okay, because... Nobody, if you had to perform, I don't think anybody in the audience will, will really care if you're playing a G chord or an F chord or, a, or like, oh, what notes are those? You know, all they want to do is listen, right? So as you're practicing, you know, we tend to focus more on the chord, the actual chord itself and where to put the fingers. And it's, it's normal, though. It's normal to, to focus on all the things that, the listener wouldn't care about. You kind of know what I mean? So that's the difference between the beginner and the intermediate class, okay? The beginners are always going to be focused on, wait, wait, put my finger where? Um, okay, wait, and then wait, which one was the G chord finger? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, this is the G chord. And they're okay with this kind of sound, right? Because they're just trying to, they're just getting started. Um, but, you know, to get to the next level, these are some, some really good tips I think that you should consider, okay? You can play all the right chords, all the right notes, but if you don't play it well, your listener will say, I don't really want to hear more, okay? So that's, the, that's what you kind of want to think about. 
Because when you practice now, you'll be more aware of, of many, many different things. Okay, so just try to keep, keep that in mind. Um, okay, so um, AV, is that correct? AV, AVI? Do you mind um, unmuting yourself and speaking? Down and up throws me off. Okay, so I can understand that part. Do you do D? Silent up, down, up. Okay. Uh, hi, this is. Uh, what I see is that your hand actually goes up and down before it all goes, before you hit the U, I mean the up again. Oh, uh, uh, are you talking about this part? Are you talking about that part? Or are you talking about this part? <laughs> I'm not sure. I couldn't follow. So uh, that's probably why I'm so confused. Okay. Wait, it sounds like you're talking about the end part. So after this. This part. Okay. So I'll go over it again. Okay. So. Okay, don't forget now, remember the strum pattern? Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Remember this? Are you okay with this strum pattern? Okay. Are you okay with that part? There's the down, up. Wait, see, I, I, I think I see your hand going down, up, without okay. hitting. And then down, and then you hit up. Okay. On the I'm second okay. round. So my hands are always going to be moving down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? But you don't hit the other one, huh? Yeah, so maybe I'll go, okay, let me try to play around. Yeah, so I, I don't, I'm actually going down. My hand came up, but I didn't hit uh -huh. the string, right? And then I'm going to hit that up, so down, up. Yeah, okay, so that's what happens. It goes up and down again before you hit up, right? Yes. Okay, so it's like, it's like four. It's not like one and one and, uh, it's not like down and up. It's more like one, two, three, four, four kind of half beats or something. Sounds good to me. Okay, so, just, <laughs> so watch my, watch my. So, okay, I'm gonna go slowly, okay? Because so, if you go one, up, down is one, you go up is half or two, okay. and then down again and up. So that's that's one and two. And <laughs> I'm that's, sorry. I don't need to you either. That's, that's the way to do it. Okay, so no, no. So so the, no, the reason why I'm agreeing with you is because um, it's, it's very common how you know, when I'm, when I'm teaching a, a song, especially like this, and we're trying to figure out the groove and, and all of that, every individual will, will make sense of it in their own way. And, uh -huh. and, and it's not, I mean, it's like what you're telling me right now, I don't quite understand exactly what you mean, but this happens a lot. So my other students will actually tell me something like, Especially kids, they'll just be like, oh, so you mean like, it's kind of like um, pick, pick, tap, tap, clap, pick, pick, or something. I don't know, they just, you know, and I just tell them, try it. And if they try it and they do it correctly, then I'm just going to, yeah, exactly. Oh, but and, at least I clarified that your hand actually goes up and then yes. down again before you hit up. Yeah, that's correct. Down, oh. up, down, up. Uh huh. Yes, okay. I went, I, you're right. I went down, up. I didn't hit the string. Down. I didn't hit the string. Uh -huh. And then I hit the string. Okay, that's where I got lost. Okay. You got it. I wasn't matching what you're saying to what you're doing. So it's okay. Like, <laughs> and then you know me. I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Good job. Thank very you very good. much because that helped me a lot. That was really good, actually. Thank you. Oh, Good, 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 good. See, see, if you guys just ask questions, we can work through anything. And I am willing to try my best to answer any questions. But when you don't ask questions, right, I'm just, I have no idea that you're confused. So I'll just keep going. So hopefully, 
now that you know you guys get more comfortable and um i gotta learn a whole new strum pattern now you said that <laughs> <laughs> so okay so okay back to strum patterns okay don't forget okay my hand will all okay so let me um Let me see where am I okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mute myself I just want you to watch my right hand okay wait hold on Okay, so I played a pretty good amount of the song, but if you watch my right hand, right, it should kind of, it pretty much looks the same. I think you can kind of see some of them accenting a little bit, so my finger might come down a little stronger or a little bit further, okay? But the thing is, your, your hand should always be moving down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? And then, yeah, sometimes I might not hit the string, but it looks like my hands are still going up and up. Down, up, 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 down, up. Okay. So, so my, my point to this is that with the scrum pattern, you know, your hand should always be moving down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you just got to catch the right chords or the right thing on the right stroke. Okay. So, so um, it shouldn't feel like, okay, wait, down. And then wait, up, don't hit the strings, down, don't hit the strings, and then up. Okay, it should just kind of feel like down, up, T, ready, and down, up. Okay, so I could do it like that, right, without missing the strings. Down, up, down, up, down, down, down. Okay, so I don't want you guys to get too caught up in the, okay, wait, down, hammer on, up, don't hit the strings down, don't hit the strings, and then up, hit the strings, and then mute, then move down, okay, down, hammer on, um, up, don't hit the, you know, I mean, when you think of it like that, it's going to be very, very difficult, so you have to try to force yourself to kind of feel the groove a little bit more. Well, that's how we used to practice, right? So, like, if, I, if I'm playing to a metronome, So that's how we used to practice before with the metronome is just practicing that one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Okay. Now later on we kind of take out some strokes and things like that, but you gotta get really comfortable with just four, one and two and three and four and one. Yeah, I mean it kind of is like a like a metronome, but but like I was saying, right, whenever I played to a metronome. And this is kind of off subject, but whenever I play to a metronome, I'm actually listening to the metronome, and in my head, I'm just counting along. One and two and three and four and 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 one. So my hand is kind of dancing to this beat in my head. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So the, the metronome is actually in my head and my hand is just dancing. Okay, so try to try to think of it 
think of it more that way. Because I don't want your hands to be too stiff, right? Like one and two and three and four. You gotta kind of relax. It, it's more, it's more feel. Okay? So this song, I want you guys to kind of work on it because it's it's a good strumming exercise. Okay, take a, take a few minutes. I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to run through the whole thing. And let me take um, whatever questions you guys have. And then maybe next week, I, I kind of want to stay on this because um, I feel like maybe some of you guys are not too comfortable with the strum pattern yet. Okay, so if I give you a week to kind of work on this strum pattern, it'll get more comfortable. And then the next part, we'll go over it next time. I just go... like that. How are you guys doing? You guys uh, getting overwhelmed? So strum patterns though basically is just practice. That's that's it. Um, there's no real technique. You know sometimes the techniques I can just show you how to do something like like the hammer on. I could probably just show you okay put your finger here pick and let your middle finger hit the string. And maybe for some of you in a matter of minutes, you'll be able to, to just go, oh, I see, what is this called? Hammer on. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay. But strum patterns, they do, they do take a little longer to, to get comfortable with. Okay. It's not just about being able to do it, because I can do it like this, right? Down, up, down. See how my hand is just, it's not, it's not smooth, right? Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. I'll do that. I'll do a, uh, so I'll just write the name of the title and some of you guys will call it live. And some of you guys will call it live. I, thought that was so, I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Like I did it and I was so happy about it. Like, oh, I wrote this song and it's called live. But everybody's going to call it live. <laughs> oh, silly. Okay, so. Bruce, sorry, yeah. but for the um, for the hammer on parts. Okay. Uh, and we and we and we've got a beat down up down up down 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 up. So, so for the first hammer on is the first down up. Then the second hammer on is the second down up. Yeah. And then for, then for the for the D sus. That's your down down. down yeah. So down. your pattern the pattern is basically uh, down up. Down, up, down, down. Can you guys see that over there? Yeah. See? So this is kind of, you're looking at it like this. Yeah. So this part is the down, up, this part, space yeah. number three. Down, up, down, down. And then the so third, third down would be for the, 
for the G, yeah? Yeah, and that's like the, that's the, the number one, the, the first beat of the next measure. Thank you. Okay, well, oh, good, thank you, Claire. All right, but yeah, we will, we should start wrapping up. I have some things I gotta do today, but um, before I leave you guys, is there any other questions? You know, I don't want you guys, because I, I know some of you guys who are too shy to, to ask a question or, or talk would just be like, hmm, you're not going to ask. And as soon as I log off, you're going to be like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't learn anything today. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do today. I don't know. Something about down, up, down, up, and don't hit the strings or hit the strings. <laughs> okay, so... So we do want to, you know, I, I want to make sure we're, we're okay. And the thing is, next week, I plan on continuing this song. So, you know, you don't want to fall too far behind this week. Beginning part, okay. So, G chord. Okay, so... The beginning part, those are all the changes. This down and this down. So, down, up, down, up, down, down, change, up, change, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. I think the origin is around this tempo. those downs I know I could have written it out earlier but I like I like to make you guys try to feel the beat like hear the changes try your best and then in the end when it's time to go and if you guys still have questions yeah I'll just I'll write it out like this but I hope you guys understand that if I did write it out from the beginning it would be a lot easier for you guys to learn the song but you guys would probably approach it like this down, up, down, up, down, 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 you know, and once you approach it like that, it's not going to really get any better. So I want you guys to try to feel it first. And now I know it's going to happen. Some of you guys, next week, you guys are going to join the class at around 3 o'clock, 3.15, because then you know, oh, that's when Bruce writes everything down. So I'm just going to skip the beginning and then I'll just join in when he writes everything down. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to start wrapping up. You guys have any questions? No, thanks, Bruce. That was fantastic. All right. Well, if I don't see you guys tomorrow, uh, have a great 4th of July. Um, I can't imagine there's, there's much things to do now. Um, but anyways, just be safe and have fun. If you guys want to join the Saturday class um, on 4th of July, I was telling the class, I mean, I don't, I don't even know it's hard because I can't really talk to everyone all the time, but I told them um, for 4th of July, I told them, why don't you have a drink ready? We just kind of cocktail for a little while and yeah just have some fun all right but anyways if i don't see you guys i'll be safe on fourth of july and have a great week and if you have any questions once again just um email it to me i think i'll do it one more time 
Thank you. This is a challenge lesson. <laughs> yeah, well, it is, but you know, hopefully, as long as you understand, you know, what we're doing, it's easier to to put in the you know put in the work versus sometimes. Oh, so I just put in my email address for anyone who's kind of new, and if you want to email me questions or um, so some students are actually emailing me videos of them playing because they want some feedback and I've been encouraging everyone, you know, anytime send me stuff. I always give you honest feedback. Um, I reply to everybody. Sometimes it, it might take a day or maybe two, but I'm usually pretty quick. So, so <laughs> I don't even know what essence means to be honest. I, I created this email address when emails kind of first came out and Essence means really good looking. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought, because a girl suggested to me, hey, you should call it Ukulele Essence. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right. So anyways, you guys have a great uh, rest of your Sunday. Oh, I know, Mark, you're going you're gonna to go to sleep soon. And um, I'll catch you guys either tomorrow or next week. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Bye.